Hey guys, good morning and welcome to The Bates House. So today I'm coming at you guys with a Goodwill haul. It's a combination haul of about two weeks, maybe three, not positive. Anyway, it is a collective of a bunch of things that I found whenever we went thrifting. I have some 75% off Monday items and I have regular price items. A lot of this stuff is gonna be either for the eBay store or for keeps here at the Bates house. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I have quite a bit. So I'm gonna move fairly quick. Starting off, I'm gonna show you guys some metal goodies that I was able to find. Yesterday when we went, Orange Tag was 75% off. So I got some smalls that were just a few cents. First item is this little brass holder. You could use this for some salt and pepper and set it on a table if you have some old vintage jars, or you could even use it for some glass jars of a small side of salsa or something like that if you're serving some dinner. It was priced at 99 cents. I got it for one quarter. So I'm gonna find some little glass jars and pair it with that because I think that is cute. That is most likely gonna go into the fall market. Next, I found this holder. This one was also $1 and it was orange tag. That means I got it for 25 cents. I will definitely be putting this one in the fall market. It's perfect for display, for organization, for mail and whatever other odd, odds and ends. You could use it as a plate display rack. Plenty of cute little things that you could use this for. So I'm gonna probably display some vintage plates on it and then put it in the fall market. For a quarter, you can't beat that. Next for the fall market, I found these two little brass, sheet metal type decor pieces and they are very fitting because it's for the fall market so it's nice pretty leaves that is very fall related now these were actually two dollars a piece and they are metal wall hangings so you could pop them into a nice photo wall where you have like a whole wall full of frames and you could pop these into some empty spaces you could put this anywhere really and they are very pretty they're about six inches long or tall or whatever by maybe four inches wide. So not too small, not too big, but definitely worth picking up for the market. I think I could sell them about two for maybe 10 to 12, depending on how they are displayed because they are $2. So I kind of need to make that money back. Next, I was super excited to find this. This is a copper utensil holder. I actually have, I think, two copper utensils. I have one very large spoon, and then I think I recently picked up something else, but I can't remember because, you know, all the things. But I actually want to use this to hang it upside down on the fireplace mantle over there because I have some really cool fireplace like scoops and um, I don't know, this uh, like, I guess they're all technically scoops, but one is kind of like a brass and then I have two wood and then I have that match holder that I told you guys I wanted to use for the, do for the dog food. Anyway, I want to put this under there and hang it upside down so things can hang from it from some S hooks because I think that's adorable. So this one was $2. I saw it there last week and I did not want to lose out on getting it because these actually resell very well, especially when you have the utensils and stuff that go with it. But... I got it for $2 and I was willing to pay that. So yeah, pick that up for my fireplace. Next, I saw this. Now this is very modern and it's probably gonna be something that I kind of hide and keep for personal use. Or if I decide to make some kind of bar or something like that for resale for any of the markets, then I'll probably pop this in there. But it is just an under the rack wine glass holder. I saw it hanging off of a rack like that and it really didn't look like much. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. That is a wine glass holder. Perfect for DIY furniture to display everything on there, make it look nice so that it sells. It's got one, two, three, four slots and it was only $2. So yeah, I thought that was definitely worth it. Super sturdy, like this metal does not bend easily. So that's great. And it still has this little feet for the shelf so you don't scratch. And I was definitely willing to pay that to use it for some displays with furniture. Speaking of displays, I picked this up. It is a chicken wire rack 
and it's super self-explanatory like it just is what it is it's a, it's a display rack it was three dollars so i'm gonna be using that in the fall market to display things i'm not really sure what yet but it would look cute if i had some vintage utensils to hang from it if i had maybe some candle holders to hang from it it doesn't matter like it could be used for whatever so there is that it's nice and tall it's probably about two and a half feet tall as far as the rack is concerned and then you have this little height here which is about four inches so yeah i think i'm just going to get a wood block and just drill two holes in there so that it can stand up and be weighted down by the wood block next is a personal item i actually found this metal apple slicer and i can see like an outline i don't know if you could see it it's like an outline right there and to me that looks like a vintage korea sticker so it's either vintage korea or vintage taiwan i do believe the taiwan sticker though is a lot more narrow but it's around that time either way. I do have a metal apple slicer because I had a plastic apple slicer, but I donated it because I was trying to purge plastics from my personal use products in the kitchen and so on. And then I found a metal one that was actually Pioneer Woman. So I'm really happy to find this one that is authentic vintage so I can keep the Pioneer Woman one in the drawer in the kitchen. And I can use this one for my vintage baking station. If you've never seen my vintage baking station area, it's basically off the kitchen. That is the kitchen. Here is my coffee area. And then here is the breezeway that I converted into a baking station when having it as a dining room didn't really make sense because we really didn't use it like you would think. So of course I like to be different and I converted the whole room into a vintage baking station. So I have like hutches in here, cabinets that I redid, uh, a, an armoire that we converted into an island. It's like I love this space. So this will be going in this space and it was only one dollar. Next, I have found these adorable little scoops for $2. And I know they resell for about $8 a piece. Oh, <laughs> then with the price tag, it was $2. They have new sticker colors, which is interesting. But $2 for this whole set. And I know they resell for about $8 a piece. I have a set of one, two, three, four, five, six of this kind of like, not a teardrop, but this really pretty shape. These are hand twisted brass wire spoons or utensils and they have this really cute little hook at the tip and I thought that was so precious. So I have four of that shape for one set and then in the second set it's going to have two of that shape but it also has this round shape, which is adorable. These are gorgeous just for display, for people that like to display their pieces. And it's also perfect for use. Now, I'm not sure exactly what you would use that for, but yeah, they're cute. I don't know, what would you use that for? I don't know what it's for guys, but it's a strainer and it's so cute and I love them. So yeah, I have enough to make two sets and I will probably put, I don't know, I think I might keep a set. <laughs> I might keep a set, I'm not sure, or they'll both go into the fall market. Next, I found this gorgeous brass candle holder. Look at that, that is so pretty. So your candle holder goes up here, and I think in a really cute way, you could add like some draping succulents and that would look so precious. Or you could do like some moss and put some tiny little quail eggs in there for decor for the spring. I think this is just absolutely adorable. So yeah, and it's pretty big. It's about 12 inches tall. I love that. It is vintage Japan and the made in Japan stamp is actually engraved in a metal uh, tag. So that is pretty neat. Anyway, three bucks. I thought that was a definite purchase price. I love brass. I will be keeping this one. This is a personal goodie. If you don't know, I absolutely love all things coffee. I have a whole coffee station and a vintage hutch that I redid. I love using my percolator every morning and before COVID, I could actually smell the gorgeous coffee aroma from 
the bedroom in the morning when I walked down the hallway and you just like wafted through the house. It was, it's so good. And I'm hoping that I will get my sense of smell back sometime soon because I really do miss that smell. Anyway, I have a whole coffee station. Let's see if I can move this right there. Whole coffee station here. I showed you guys my vintage mug racks and all that in previous hauls, but I found this cutie and I paid up for him because he is gonna be a personal item and I cannot wait to go through and clean them all up and polish them and give them a whole new life here at the Bates house because he is absolutely adorable. He is a percolator by Comet, the popular aluminum made in the USA, five cup coffee pot. Look at him, he is so cute. And whoever used this absolutely got life out of it. It is so used, so stained, and I don't even care. It's not dirty, that's like actual like buildup. I cannot wait to go through and clean him. His lid for the strainer is underneath, it's in there. So everything is in there. And for five bucks, I was like, oh yes, he's gotta come home with me and I have to put him with my coffee goodies. I saw this and it was like that, and I was like, hmm, that's very pretty. It's like that goldy brass kind of color. It was supposed to be a mirror at some point, but the glass I'm sure just broke out. And it was only $3, but on the other side, you have this gorgeous lavender kind of backing, which I thought was pretty. Actually, it's not lavender, that's definitely purple. This purple backing, I thought it was pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this side and I'm going to chalk paint it so that I can use it as a sign or sell it in the fall market. I absolutely love this. I thought it was so cute. And for $3, it's a very nice size piece that you could definitely repurpose. That's one of the greatest things I think about finding vintage pieces that are kind of use and abuse because there's always a way to modify and make them new again and give them a new old life in their new home. So yeah, I picked that up and I will be turning that into a chalkboard. I'll probably use it as a sign in the fall market, but also add a tag. Okay, the next two items are not Goodwill items. Um, they are actually Pennywise items, but I figured what the hey, we're here. So I got a 10 by 14 wherever pie pan and this one is 10 inches i absolutely love making pies i'll do some overlays just for the simple fact that i love making pies and i know a lot of you guys just love to see all the fun little clips so that is going to be in there for you I have several vintage aluminum and tin dishes that I actually use in my vintage baking station. I am in love with all of the things. And when the holiday season comes around, it's all about pies. I love making pies. Also, whenever I can, when I find clearance pie dishes, maybe like a Pyrex or a clear glass or an amber glass or something like that, and I can get them for like a buck or a quarter a piece, I will be sure to get, grab them so that whenever I make pies during the holidays, I don't have to ask for the dish back. I just tell them to keep the dish and do whatever they want with it or redonate it or whatever. And I don't have to worry about giving my vintage tins and baking pans that I really love away. So yeah, there's that. This one was two bucks. Next is also another Pennywise item. I picked up this Vintage Lodge USA cornbread cast iron baking pan. It was $4 and if you know anything about the Lodge cast iron, they resell very well. I have a stack of cast iron that I have already cleaned and I need to season. So I'm going to be just setting aside a few hours in one day to do that so they can all be ready to go into the eBay store. I'm gonna wait for the hubby to be off one day and spend some time doing that with him just so he can keep me some company. But there is that. And this one was four bucks and it is totally worth it because these babies resell very well. 
Okay, so next we're gonna look at some goodies that are like woods and natural elements. I have a basket right here that is full of stuff. And then I have another one here to the side. But the first thing I'm gonna show you is this gorgeous ice bucket. I fell in love with this. I saw it on the shelf whenever I was walking through and I just like scurried over to it. I had to grab it. In my vintage baking station, I repurposed a gun cabinet into a baking pantry for overflow products like flour, almond flour, uh, pecans, anything like that, baking powder, uh, cupcake like candy toppers and melting chocolate and all that. And it's so cute. And to this day, I still look for gun cabinets that I can repurpose into pantries because they have that gorgeous, almost apothecary style, big glass. And I love that. I actually have two Ray Dunn canisters that I kept from one of my hauls. And I kind of talked to you guys about when I buy new pieces and I try to incorporate them into this space. Somehow, some way, at some point, they just don't do it for me. So I think I'm gonna take those and gift those to my friend and I will replace them with this. I love this, this is so cute. So it is a wood ice bucket. I don't, oh, it does, it says, uh, Kettville Putney, Vermont. And it was only four bucks, but you can't look more vintage than that, right? Like OMG. So it's got a wood lid. It has the liner on the inside. A lot of the times I'll take this out because this kind of takes up space and I will seal the inside if it's a wood canister. And if it's a metal canister, then I'll just leave it be. But what I do is I take a fabric and I coat it with beeswax that I actually got from a local bee, um, uh, bee raiser, I guess. He raises bees. I sourced some beeswax from him some time ago when we first moved here and I use it all the time to make fabric beeswax wraps and I put those on canisters like this or containers like this to make them airtight so that they seal nicely. So you see that plastic piece in there what it will do is it will push against the beeswax and it will make the canister airtight. And I love doing that because number one, it's so cute. The little fabric hangs out around the edge and it just looks adorable, but it's also functional and cheap. So yeah, pick that goodie up for four bucks and I love every bit of it. It's so beautiful. This one is definitely gonna go into the market. I loved all the things about this. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it in the fall market or set it aside for the spring market because look at the colors, they're so cute. OMG, it's like this pale peach color and then this pale, um, I don't know, like almost minty, tealy green. So pretty. And it's just a beautiful octagon shape basket with lid and this triangle ha uh, handle. Very boho, like granny chic. So nice. My mom was like, that's for the tortillas. <laughs> she likes the big tortillas. So I was like, yeah, that, it, that would be really cute, but it just doesn't fit my vibe here. I think someone that loves boho would love this. So yeah. I might just put it in the fall market because I know there's a lot of boho lovers out here in our area. So they might actually really enjoy seeing and picking that up. This one was $3 and I'm pretty sure I can get about 14 for it. So yeah, I, I just loved it. I thought it was gorgeous in gorgeous condition too. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, so yeah, that is that for three bucks. Next, I did pick up a picnic basket. I have been, if you follow me for some time, you guys know that I am a basket fanatic. There is a ledge that goes across the entire front of the house right here, and it's about a foot and a half, and it's full of baskets, all this area. It's just like baskets lined up. So when you look up, it's like, oh wow, somebody has a basket problem. <laughs> and yes, that would be me. So I did pick up another picnic basket, even though I do limit myself now with picnic baskets, it has to be a certain type. I've gone through so many that I actually know what I like now. And I actually have one that is almost identical to this one. It's just a shade more muted. 
and I use it in my baking baking station. I have two right there, one for aprons and then one for uh, baking towels. But this one looks like this. And it was paired with at least six years of dust. So that's great. And that was free. On the inside, or the basket was three bucks. But what I love is that it is a great size for actual functional use and storage. And then it has this gorgeous wood top so that it makes things very easy to pull in and out. Also, you can set things on top of it. So it's good for stacking if necessary. So in here, I got a bunch of goodies as well. So let's see what I got. First item is what I call my Alma box. <laughs> Alma loves boxes like this. And I was showing her and she's like, girl, I got that exact box. I was like, I know, that's why I call it an Alma box. This one was $2. It is just a gorgeous hand carved hinged box. I love these. I think they are so pretty. I have about four that I have kept. A few of them were actually from Alma after she painted them. I use it for the remote controls. I use them just for storage and adding height in display cabinets. Just really pretty pieces. And you can see that it has this kind of ivory. I don't know if it's plastic or what. I don't know what this material is that they carve out and put into these little holes to create the image, but it's just so pretty. It was $2. And I thought that was a definite purchase price. The insides are pretty basic. You have a wood trim and then some fabric and that's it. So yeah, I picked that one up for two bucks and I would be putting that into the fall market for about eight to 10. Next, we're actually Pennywise finds. It's just all sprinkled into the stuff that I've been collecting for the last few weeks. I went in there one day with my mom. We were just in the area. So we just decided to walk in and see what we could find. First item or first set of items was actually three pieces. They are vintage Longer Burger baskets, OMG. I'm using one already that is identical to this one. So this one is vintage Longer Burger, handmade in the USA, of course, in 1984. And each basket was only a dollar. And this has a leather strap handle, which is in kind of ratty condition, but I mean, who cares? And it's a hanging basket that is super adorable. And I love this muted brown color. I think that is so cute. And I have one on my baking station that I have my scrapers in. I have about three to four scrapers and then I have a dough cutter and stuff like that. So I have that just sitting in there and I think it's so precious. And for a dollar, Longer Burger, yes please. Next one is another Longer Burger basket and this one was 1985. This one has a handle, super cute, and I will be putting this one into the fall market. And that was only a buck. Okay, so in my previous haul, you guys actually helped me out a lot with that one kind of like masher looking thing. Um, so I'm excited to be able to use that during the fall and the winter in the more cold months uh, to make hot chocolate and the atole and all that stuff. But this one, I also need your help with. <laughs> what is this? Let me know, cause I don't know. Like, I don't know, but I love vintage kitchen tools and I will use them as soon as I know what they are for. I don't know if this is vintage, but I also don't know what it's for. So just let me know. Wood tools are always a must, but it was only 50 cents. So I got that very pretty. All right, the last kind of natural element goodie that I found was this. Now in the fall and spring market, I feel like box purses, wicker purses, vintage kind of natural element purses do so well. And I have a small collection that is gonna go into the fall market because I sold out of the ones last year. Everyone just loves these box purses. Um, but this one is actually a corn husk purse and it is so pretty and it was only $5. And what sold me was this green color and the little bamboo on the front. So check this out. It looks like this. How adorable is this piece? So pretty and it's got that pale green strap. I love that. And then it has some brass hardware and that bamboo piece, which is actually the lock for the purse. How cute is that? 
Oh my gosh. And then you open it up and it is by Sun and Sand Accessories. And it looks like this. How precious is that? Oh my goodness. And then the bottom has that, the hardware and the straps. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I cannot wait to put that into the fall market. I know someone is gonna love that for five bucks. I mean, come on. Oh, and it is a crossbody, so it has a nice long strap. Let's see what it looks like. It goes down, yeah, perfect. It goes down to your bottom or like this. So cute. I thought that was worth every penny. So I did pick that up for the fall market. We're gonna jump into some fabric goodies. First one was this one. It is this gorgeous organizer and it was priced at uh, $5, but it was orange tag and that was the sale tag color this week. So I got it for $1.25 and I feel like it's one of the vintage kind of like, I wanna say a passport traveling organizer or something like that but it is so pretty and I'm kind of thinking that I will either put this into the fall market or I will put it into the Etsy shop and fill it with a bunch of coordinating color goodies because look at that oh my gosh it is so pretty gorgeous colors and it has a pocket here another one here and then your big pocket is here and then you have this little plastic pocket here. How precious. I was like, oh yeah, somebody would like that. So I picked that up for a buck 25 and I'm thinking, I'm kind of leaning more towards the Etsy shop, but I think what I'll do is just put it in the fall market and if it doesn't sell, then I'll just load it up with stuff and put it in the Etsy shop because that is too pretty, too, too pretty. So yeah, there's that. Next, I couldn't believe this was only $3 because it is gorgeous. And I cannot wait to put this on a table or just hang it somewhere or something because this is so nice. Now, I love greens. I love muted greens. I love kind of like fancy uh, antique greens, vintage green. I love all of that. Look at this runner. It is so pretty and it was only $3. Well, actually it wasn't priced at $3. She, I, it didn't have a price. So she said three bucks and I was like, I'll take it. It was at Pennywise look at this gorgeous runner oh m gosh so beautiful it has almost like a kind of gold undertone with black and green so nice oh m gosh so pretty and it has the tassels on the end I am so excited to have this. I think it is beautiful. Look at that, just so beautiful. Oh my goodness, and for $3, yes please. Next, I saw this and I was like, oh yes, I have to get this for the eBay store because it is gorgeous. I don't see black art tapestry very often, so I just don't know if it's not highly available or just if a lot of people don't donate it but this was gorgeous for five dollars and it is a u.s made product which is a definite plus with this gorgeous wood dowel so check this out omg look at these ladies how gorgeous is that i was like oh my goodness my mom was like you have to get that so i did pick this one up and this one is called faith hope and love omg look at them so i am super excited to put that into the ebay store because they are gorgeous and they need a new home speaking of art i found some art art <laughs> i found a print and then i found a print in a frame the first one is this one here i know this print is fairly popular it is of the little girl in the corner and the dog is there with her. This one was only 99 cents and it's still sealed in the package. But of course the package has like tears in the cover and stuff like that. There's not much damage. There are two little scratches right here. But aside from that, oh, one tiny one right here too. But aside from that, 
it was only a book. So I think what I'm gonna do is I might try to find a frame because you can find some really awesome frames for super cheap. Actually, I think I have one. I think in my previous haul, I told you guys I was going to kind of do like a faux antique mirror thing, but I think I'm just gonna use it for this. Anyway, I'll put this in it and then I'll put it into the fall market. And I think somebody will love that. That is so pretty. Yeah, that is definitely gonna look adorable in the fall market with its new frame that I got. And I think that frame was actually free from Pennywise, if I'm not mistaken. Go back and check out the other haul so you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, I think that frame was free. Next one, oh my goodness, this gave me all the feels. Now I do not like the frame. It's just one of those gold, very straight edge frames. But guys, check this out. It is a mama bear with her baby bug making bread. Oh my goodness. Well, actually they're eating bread, but of course they made the bread. I just cannot. And it says Sarasota flower. So I'm wondering if this is like an advertisement. Oh, there's something here. It says Portal 1975 Portal Publications, California. So that is definitely a vintage print. Beautiful. I don't have walls in the baking station because it's all floor to ceiling windows. And then I have a small wall right there and like there's no walls. So I don't know how to get this in this space, but I'll figure it out. This is absolutely beautiful. That or maybe I could put it over there in the breakfast area. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't even care. She's beautiful. He's adorable. And it's baking related. I had to get that. And it was only $2. Okay, so let's move into some glass goodies. First of all, I found this one. This is a vintage milk glass seasoning jar. If you saw my previous $20 Facebook haul, you guys know that I found a seasoning rack with the milk glass jar. And in that video, I told you that the other ones for the top shelf were kind of sprinkled throughout the kitchen, but I didn't want to ask for them because those people were being above and beyond generous. So I was kind of like, oh, I'll just build up as I see them. Cause I do see them every now and then out in the wild. So I found this one, it was only a dollar. Um, there was another one, but the lid was all busted up and I just didn't want to deal with that. So I didn't get that one. This one was a dollar. So I will be adding it to my little rack that I picked up from Facebook. Speaking of seasoning jars, check these out. So I am a lover of apothecary style jars and I've seen plenty of racks that have these jars with them with the cork. Um, I'm not gonna take them out of the tape because they literally taped the entire thing together. It was $1.99 and it's a set of five cork seasoning jars. Now these actually come on the season racks or spice racks and I thought that was awesome for $2. OMG, so exciting. I loved these. Now I have that little armoire that I was telling you about and I have a few um, like crystally sprinkle shakers um, and they're in the original packaging because I just didn't have anything small enough to put them in and there wasn't enough to like use a full mason jar because it just take up a lot of room. Now, I have these. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to, I'm going to hold off on posting this video until I have several overlays to show you guys, because I can't wait to incorporate these pieces into my house. Also follow me on Instagram because you'll probably see it there first. But if you're watching the YouTube channel only, and that's how you get to see the content, then I want to make sure I have overlays because it's more fun that way, right? Like it's so fun to show how we actually use these goodies. It's my favorite thing to do is like see a before and after, or just find fun ways to repurpose or reuse or give our vintage goodies a new life. Like why not? So yeah, got those. Can't wait to incorporate them into my baking station. Next, I found this Milk Glass Amway. I'm not sure if it's like a potpourri jar. I kind of feel like that is very similar to a floral or flower frog. I guess you could use it as a potpourri jar. 
You could also use it as a flower frog for small flowers. Put your water in there, put your flowers in there. I'm not positive what it is, but if you guys know, let me know. This one was $3, I paid up for it, but I kind of felt like it was totally worth it. It has this gorgeous snow winter scene. I thought it was so precious for $3. Total vintage vibes, multifunctional for three bucks. So let me know. Let me know if you know what this is for. The holes are too big to be a strainer. So I feel like this would make a great vase for short flowers. Like, how not? So pretty. I love that. So I picked that up. Next, I found this and the tag of the week was red that week. So that made me very happy because it is a France Arcarac large glass bowl. I don't think this is crystal. I think it's just a glass bowl. But if you don't know, I've shared this again on Instagram. I actually use crystal bowls for the dog's food. There's one set here and then there's another set on that side by the fireplace. Sorry, it's my Instagram. Um, and I love it, right? Because Onyx eats a lot and he drinks a lot of water. He's a big dog and these are perfect for them. And I think I might switch out his food bowl because his food bowl is kind of flat but it's wide, so I would have to cut the hole wider in the crate to keep it in place. It kind of slides a little bit, but the brick wall is there, so it doesn't matter. But this one would actually inset in the pre-cut holes that we already have in there. So I think this is gonna become his new food bowl. He's very, he's an aggressive eater. Like he's like, he eats aggressively. So that's why the bowl gets pushed. Diesel is more of a calm eater. He kind of takes his time with his food. He'll chew it up and stuff. So we don't have to worry about his bowls. This will be Onyx's new food bowl. And it was priced at $4 and I got it 75% off for $1. That's awesome. Okay, last of the glass type goodies is this set of Courier Knives glasses. They are beautiful. Courier Knives always has that like um, scene of different seasons and kind of like homesteady type things or just like personal um, holiday related things. Very pretty. This one has the blue band all the way around and I think that is gorgeous. Yeah, I got a set of four and they were four for $3. So less than a dollar a piece. I think that is great. Those are gonna go into the eBay store four for 20 or four for like 18, 18 to 20, not sure. Okay, so this next group or set of things is all gonna be like porcelain, ceramics, and terracotta and stuff like that. But this first set was awesome. So it was priced 20 pieces for $10. And I was so excited. Well, I actually ran over because I saw some goblets and I was like, oh, those would do so good in the shop. But then I realized that it was an entire set and you have to sell them together. So there's 20 pieces for $10 and I kind of felt like mm, that's paying up, but it's still only 50 cents a piece. And then I had to of course go back and forth in my head like, is that worth the purchase price? Do I think I can resell all of the different types of pieces? Will the total sell actually be worth the investment? And yes, the answer is yes. It is an awesome dish set of terracotta hand painted dishes and they are by Terracotta Rose in the garden flower print and they are made in the usa look at that adorable color pattern very bright and fun now this one was four dinner plates four shallow bowls and then four a little bit deeper bowls and then it also came with a four piece set of the uh, coffee cups or teacups, whatever you wanna consider them. Coffee cups are typically wider, but this is what it looks like. Hand-painted terracotta dishes, yellow trim, green uh, band on the inside, very pretty. And these were very reminiscent of the Vietri dishes that I've sold previously, but that's when I had everything in the Etsy shop. But very pretty, kind of has exposed terracotta 
very rustic-y kind of looking. I think that is absolutely adorable. And then there was a four piece set of the goblets and the goblets alone resell, I think for like 40 bucks, which is awesome. 40 and up. Look at these. These are the ones that grab my attention. I think they are beautiful. And if you're someone that maybe doesn't use goblets, but loves the dishes or anything like that, or if you buy a set of something and you don't want to just use it strictly for cups, or if you don't need that many cups, you could actually put these on open shelves and hang uh, hang some like draping succulents or something like that in your kitchen and just have it totally relatable to the whole kitchen theme. It's so, so pretty. And there was a set of four of these with the pretty little flowers and then the hand detail or the little uh, scalloped detail on the bottom. I thought that was so cute. And again, there was four of those four of the cups, and then four of the dinner plates, shallow bowls, and deeper bowls. Very nice for 10 bucks, 50 cents a piece. Awesome purchase price. These alone will make me well over the $10 investment. Or if I, even if I just sold these, it's like, oh, uh, that's only $2. <laughs> so totally worth it. All right, let's stick to some colorful things. Check out this coffee pot and cup. It is beautiful. Now it is not vintage, it's actually world market and it was priced for $5. Now I don't like to pick up too much modern stuff, but if it's world market, Pier One, or like Crate and Barrel and stuff like that, I will pick it up, especially if it's in this, this good of condition and something unique and colorful because I know a lot of people like stuff like that. This one is porcelain and it is so nice. It's a nesting coffee cup or uh, coffee pot and cup or teapot and cup. Typically teapots are kind of like short and round, but whatever, use it for whatever you want. I don't care if it's just for hot water for your hot chocolate, like it doesn't matter. So here's what it looks like when it's taken apart. Very pretty. And I feel like this cup is so big, the whole freaking pot would fit in there. Anyway, here's the lid very clean on the inside this thing looks brand new and i think that is absolutely gorgeous so the whole set two pieces were five dollars so 250 a piece look at that beautiful i like that handle kind of poking out like that anyway five bucks for that and i will be putting that into the ebay store probably for about 20 to 25 beautiful Speaking of some color, I saw these on the shelf and I kind of like darted over because I thought they were gonna be Fiesta wear at a distance. But then as I got closer, I was like, those are definitely not Fiesta wear. The handle is super round, very Fiesta wear-esque, but they are big. It's a bigger round handle and it has that band along the top, very pretty. And then this really cute little footed base but the top kind of goes out like that you see and it's a wide mouth very nice very nice and this color is so pretty to me it looks kind of like a lavender but it has more of a pink tone and it's very fitting because it is Mikasa Moderna vintage Japan dusty rose cups very pretty and that to me kind of looks like an eight ounce, but I think, I'm thinking it might be a 10 ounce, but very pretty, very, very pretty. So yeah, there was only a set of two and they were 99 cents a piece. So I did pick those up and those will go into the eBay store, probably about $6 a piece. So two for 12 ish. Keeping it kind of pinky and floral, I picked up these teacups and a sugar and creamer kind of set. Now, typically I don't like to get the smaller teacups because I feel like six ounces really isn't much to drink if you're a coffee drinker um, because you're more likely to buy the sets and actually use them, I feel like, but I don't know, I could be totally wrong. Anyway, they are a set of four teacups. They were 99 cents a piece and the brand is actually Hitkari Potteries, Bone China, made in India. The cups 
are just adorable. I couldn't leave them. They kept catching my eye and I was like, you know what? If they're catching my eye that much, usually I'll find these things to be really cute, but I'll kind of just walk away and I don't think twice about it. But these just kept calling me. And I don't think it's because they resell for much. I just think they're so pretty and I think somebody will love them. So I picked up a set of four of the cups and I do believe there was like eight cups, but I just picked up one set of four. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous print. And there's a glare because again, this room is full of windows, but look at how pretty that is. And they are bright white porcelain. They have that gold trim and then the beautiful floral print. I love those. So I did pick up four of those and they had the matching sugar and creamer. So this is what the creamer looks like. And if you can tell, there's like a, like a ribbed kind of texture in them. Very nice, very clean, no chips or cracks or anything like that. Very nice pieces. And then here is the sugar. And I just loved it. I was like that, I don't know. I don't know what it was. It just really grabbed my attention and I couldn't leave them, so I didn't. Anyway, each one was 99 cents a piece, so I picked up six pieces. Next, I found this. Actually, I think this one was Pennywise. It is a vintage Asahi Japan planter. Look at that. With these cutie pie little birds, speckled pottery, and it has the strainer plug. Very pretty. And I think I could get a good $8 out of that one, and I paid a quarter. Okay, sorry, I had to turn on some overhead lights because we're starting to get some overcast outside and it's getting fairly dark. Anyway, last pottery goodie is this here. It is a Galston Sutton Toll Company Vintage Japan Terracotta Wall Hanging Mold Decor thing. It's really cute, has like that basket weave design on the side gorgeous over textured carrots, which I absolutely love. You could keep it original like this. Someone could buy it and paint it and modify it to match their house a little better. Either way, it was priced at $3. I picked it up for 75 cents because it was 75% off Monday that week. And I thought that was an awesome little find. They had another one that sat like this and it had like a basket with fruit and stuff in it, but I was trying to be selective that day. So I just grabbed this one. I thought this was adorable. Definitely very homesteady, kind of country kitchen style decor. I love it. It's, or I think it would pair well too with like a copper collection. Very nice. Pick that one up. So the last home decor organization, whatever type item, I'm gonna show you guys is fairly large and I'll show you the stuff that's in it. If you wanna stick around, you can stick around. It's clothes and it's just something fun to share. I think it's really cool to see what you can get for a buck and change uh, to add to your wardrobe and kind of get the vintage vibe or looks that you're looking for. It's a huge basket. I got it for $4 and check this thing out. Oh my gosh. I was like, I gotta get that. I think I'm actually gonna put this into the fall market because it is a gorgeous, basket and it is so big I know it will sell so that is it for all of the home and eBay store stuff the rest of this is going to be fabric-y type things like hats blankets and clothes if you want to stick around go ahead and stick around and I'm just going to show them to you really quick so the first item I showed you this on Instagram I even have a few thumbnail pictures with it it is this gorgeous mustardy yellow brown uh, hat which I am definitely gonna be sporting in the fall market. I think it is so pretty and it fits so well. And I absolutely love it. Look at that, it is so cute. So yeah, I got that and I am keeping that one. Next is this throw blanket. It's very nice. It has that pale green print and I'm gonna try to see if I, yeah. It is by Class Systems Inc. And it's just a gorgeous blanket that I'm gonna put into the living room. And it has that, uh, 
Y'all, video brain, I know, I know the word for this print and I can't think of it. So just put in the comments and remind everybody. But it is so pretty. Look at it, OMG. And it's fairly large and it was $5. Look at this. It's a gorgeous throw and I'm so happy that I found it. Oh, this is mine. I already had this. <laughs> Next, I found this denim jacket. Jackets are, I think, $8. So 75% off makes them $2. It's a light blue denim jacket. I actually picked this up for the boys. It is Old Navy and Aiden, no, Boogie claimed it. It was too small for Aiden and Steven. So Boogie claimed it and he's super excited to wash it and wear it. So for two bucks, he got him a nice den denim jacket. Okay, so I moved the basket out of the way. Next is this top. It is Courtney. I don't know. But I've been totally feeling like the casual, well, Downton Abbey vibes, like oh, Downton Abbey just has all my heart. So I've been picking up pieces that I feel like are casual fancy and I will wear them instead of walking out of the house with paint pants <laughs> and t-shirts with paint on them because I paint in everything. So yeah, I got this one, has this gorgeous little ruffle detail. Oh my gosh, and how cute does it look like with this top? I thought that was so pretty. Okay, this one I was really happy about. It is this gorgeous lacy type look to the top. Again, two bucks and it is by Express. So not vintage, but vintage vibes, like I said. But look at how cute this is. <gasps> OMG, and I would wear it just like that. How precious. And I love that little texture, so pretty. $2. <laughs> okay, sorry, I was just talking to the heavy. Okay, so next is this St. John's Bay, um, petite medium size denim top. I actually have one similar, but it's a darker denim. So I thought this would be cute uh, just to have another option. It's just a denim top. I mean, nothing crazy, but I liked it. So I got it. This one I just got yesterday with my mom. This one is Mills Look and it says double XL, but I think this is gonna be great for around bonfires whenever I have on a sweater and I need something just a little bit bigger. It was 75% off, so I paid $2 for this one. And it is this gorgeous kind of khaki colored jacket with a blue trim on the inside, gorgeous alternating buttons. And it is so pretty for $2. I thought that was nice. What is this? Nothing. All right, I thought that was nice to wear with around the bonfires whenever it's cold and I have multiple layers on. So cute. So for $2, I don't think you can beat that. Next is this one. This one is by XOXO. Again, 75% off, got it for two bucks. It has shoulder pads, which I will leave in there. They're folded, but we don't really need to do that. We don't need to worry about that. Very pretty and the pockets are stitched. This one's stitched, this one's not, but it does have a coating in there so you can unstitch it. Very pretty. Look at that, I love it. This one does close only with one button. Very pretty. Check that out. Two bucks, OMG. Next, I picked up this gorgeous pashmina scarf. It was only $3.99 and it has this beautiful design and look to it. Pashmina is apparently a version of uh, cashmere or a cousin to cashmere. Has the little hand rolled ends, very pretty. And then it's very long as well, nice and wide. So this one I'm actually gonna be putting into the fall market. It's beautiful. Wow, fancy. I love it. And the last one is this. This is a 
Carcraft original coat with this gold lining and then a very royal blue uh, fabric. And then the buttons are very pretty. Only issue is that this one has paint, like someone kind of rubbed some paint, but I'm thinking it was worth buying to see if I could use a, uh, a lint, a fabric lint remover little machine thing and see how much of that I could get up. But other than that, it's beautiful and it's a gorgeous color and it was only $2. Like how not? And I do believe it's vintage. So I could actually put it into the fall market as well and have it, or actually maybe in the winter market, do it for the Christmas market, but very pretty. Look at that, oh my gosh, so nice for two bucks. Okay, so I have a pajama, a pair of pajama pants in here, but we don't need to see that. Anyway, that is it for this haul, guys. I do hope that you enjoyed seeing what I was able to find at Goodwill for 75% off or regular price and sprinkled in some Pennywise goodies in there. I love all of the thrifty things. I love incorporating them into my home. I love giving them a new old life and all of that. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite find was. What is something that you found that you absolutely adore? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell on your way out to be notified of new videos whenever I do post. You can follow me on my social media on Instagram at the Bates House or hashtag anything Bates House and we'll pretty much be there. But for now, guys, that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.